Goldfinger! He's the man with the golden fingernails. Good morning, Wide Awakers. It's gold fingernail here. Look at this. Solid gold fingernails on my fingers today. Yes, Pinky, what's the matter? Hello? Mr. Mally? What? Mr. Mally? Yes, Pinky, yes, what? I'm utterly, utterly, yes. utterly, 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 pink! <laughs> <laughs> and I'm utterly gold today, Wide Awake, because today we're going down a gold mine to see real live some lumps of solid gold and to find out how you get solid gold onto your fingernails as well. Now, we're also going to find out why uh, Johannesburg is called Johannesburg, and it's called Johannesburg because the people who founded it were called Johan. There were three of them, they were called Johan, Johan, and Johan. So everybody today is Johan, so that's your name. Yeah, hello, Johan, Johan! Yeah. See, you've got an awful lot of Johans watching today. By the way, if you've got any gold, make sure it's watching the show with you today. So if you've got some golden cornflakes or some golden oldies, <laughs> stick your mum and dad down beside you, your golden oldies. Make sure they're watching the show you tell you was made for. Now then, Good morning, Magic. How are you? So you've got a solid gold case today. Woo! Thank you. Yes, lovely. Here we go. We've got some nice shows for you today, Magic. From Amelia and Rajiv Dasinaki, who live in Nottingham. And they've made a table mountain for you here. With us on the top of it. That's very nicely made. I like that table mountain there. And they've also made a show your telly was made for telly. With the little figures that actually move. Do you see? Clever, isn't it, that? And they all move around and jump around. Now, here is some food for you, Magic. <laughs> this is great. Also from Nottingham, actually, from Gemma Breakwell, who's six. And what she's done is she's knitted... <laughs> she's knitted a fried egg. <laughs> and she's knitted a sausage, and she's made chips out of actual bits of foam rubber. It's really good. That can go on your tablecloth, Magic, for your meal. OK, it's a solid gold egg, that is, I can see. Here we go. We've got a beautiful uh, Cape of Good Hope for you here from Catherine Spooner. And as you can see, it's got a solid gold twinkly sequins on it in the shape of the letter M. Can you see them there? That's M for magic and M for gold. But you can't spell. <laughs> What's the magic word today, magic? Well, ooh, 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 ooh. That's quite a heavy sort of word there. OK, now let's see if you can find your way out through your golden cage. You've got a golden ribbon. Out you come, magic. You can see he's got gold on the top of his head today. That's it. He's going to climb his way to the top and he's going to count the value of this solid gold cage. And then he'll find his way to the gold mine. Give him a round of applause. Yes. Yeah. Woo. OK, so we've... Hang, oh, come here, Magic. We've got Magic Johan. We've got Timmy Johan. We've got Shaky Johan. Oh, shake your hand! <laughs> it's a hectic race, eh? It is a hectic race, Shaky, I can see. Let's go to the revolting door and find out who's the Johan through the door. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, my goodness me. You're far too small to come on Whackaday. No, I'm sorry. No, you just have to go back again. I'm sorry. Oh. No, listen, honestly, honestly he, can, he can come back when he's... When he's grown a bit, when he's grown a bit more, he can come back. Oh, hang on, there's somebody at the door. Just a minute, and let's see who's in here. Oh, my goodness me! He's grown a bit! He's grown a bit! Shaky, look at this. <laughs> Dom! Dominic Johan, introduce yourself. Off you go. Hello, my name's Dominic. I come from Horsham. My hobbies are sw swimming, watching Wackaday, and playing on my computer. And, um... I'm you're eight years old. And you're eight years old. Brilliant. Give him a round of applause, everybody. <laughs> now, turn around so we can see at the back here. He's got his cape on here. Look at this, his tablecloth. Beautifully done with all the Zulu stuff all over it. Twin Peaks and everything. And what have you brought in for your Great Whack Trek? I've brought some biltong in for my, my, my Great Trek. Ooh, what's this? Dried meat. Dried meat. Well, give that to Shaky. You'll like that. It's very popular in South Africa. What do you think, Shaky? Lekker prezies, eh? Thought you'd like that. OK. And what else have you got here? What's this stuff? Um, it's an aqua suit. Oh, this is for magic for his swimming, isn't it? Yeah. Look at this. He's got his flippers. Flip, 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 flip. And he's got an umbrella. What's the umbrella for? It's for if it rains on the track. Oh, right. Very important thing to have with you, Dominic. OK, wind round the door. Let's find out who is the next one through the Johan revolting door. Oh, good morning. Who are you? My name is Jacqueline Sharp. I come from Oakham in Leicestershire. My hobbies are watching Rackaday, playing chess and um, swimming. And swimming, OK. So this is Jackie Johan, everybody. OK, turn around so we can see your tablecloth here. And as you can see, it's got food all over it. It's got the plate, it's got the ice cream, it's got the drinks. It's got your Twin Peaks. And what have you brought in? I can see you made your bracelet there that we made the other day. What have you brought in for your Great Whack Trek? I've brought in a pair of Wacker binoculars. A pair of Wacker binoculars. Can you see anything? 
Um, yes, I can see Shaky. That's Shaky! Hello, Shaky! Give us away! Thank it's you. Brilliant. It's a grey, they say. Lovely. OK. I and you brought, brought a wacker mirror for magic. Oh, that's a beautiful mirror. I can see him perfectly there. I brought him a wacker shield. A wacker shield and stuff like this. Look at that. Yeah. A wacker headdress. Ooh, loads of things and bits and pieces. And a wacker spe spear. Good. OK, over here. Take it all over there. Stick it all into the Great Wack Trek wagon over there for our Great Wack Trek. And then we can play Mallet's Mallet. That is, of course, if you're very good at gold mining. Are you ready, you two? Go. Trek, 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 trek. Have you found any gold yet? Have we found any? Yeah! yeah. Here we go. <laughs> right. Uh, ah! Oh, no! Help! 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 E Help! E Help! E Help! 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 Get onto your stools and let's play mallets, mallets. See how we get on. Crumbs. <laughs> They were trapped underneath here. I nearly lost my Twin Peaks then. Right, who do you want your little mallet to be, Tom? Um, Jonathan Vickers. He lives in Ho he lives in Horsham and he's an egghead. He's an egghead, is he? Give him a whack away and a big blare. Blair! Good. Who's yours going to be? My my egghead is going to be my nan, because she lives in Croydon and she's utterly bonkers. Give her a whack away and a big blare. Blair! Great, Matt's Mouse Word Association, give me a Mouse Boy Sensei, be the word to say word like a large get back in like this. <laughs> or it could be like this. So one of the most bruises, loser ever gets least bruises, athlete, brilliant winner. I want you two to look at each other now. There's gold in them Blair Hills. There's gold in them Blair Hills. And you say to everybody at home, there's gold in them Blair Hills. There's gold in them Blair Hills. What do you say, Johan? There's gold in them Blair Hills. <laughs> you do, OK. Let's have um, teacup. Saucer. Saucer. Tea. Tea. Sugar. Sugar. Milk. Milk. Coffee. Coffee. Two slides, first one to you. Let's have um, cutlery. Knife. Knife. Fork. Fork. Spoon. Spoon. Silver. 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 Gold. Gold. Bronze. Bronze. Colour. Ah, colour, colour. No, I'm not going to have colour out of all that. OK, let's have polite. Hello, polite. Too slow. <laughs> Far too slow. OK, let's have um, uh, cartoon. Character. Character. Cutting. No, just said that. Heavy. Light. Light. Medium. Medium, yes, but. Really heavy. <laughs> Do we accept really heavy? No. No, no. no, we don't. Okay, fine. All right, let's have um, Saturn. Saturn. Saturn, as in a planet. 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 Moon. Moon. Hello. Hello. A bit slow there. OK, well, I'm a bash for that one, definitely. Um, let's have uh, uh, stuff that's really heavy you make things with. <laughs> Farties! That was a good bit of clue, that was. Future. Let's have the future. Future? Hello. People. Check your scores to see what you got on squillions there. Three squillion, four squillion. OK, that means that you, Dom, have got the whack. Eureka plaster like this. Turn around, give a nice big whack away to all your friends. Now, what happened yesterday, Jackie? You smashed the egg. I smashed the egg. It wasn't me. I didn't break it. Now this is a solid, a solid ostrich egg. And of course, anybody can stand in it. it won't break. It won't break, Wide Awakers. Round of applause! Yes! <laughs> oh, lovely. That was brilliant. What a relief. Well done, Johan Yaki. Here we go. Zulu, 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 Zulu. Once upon a Timmy time, Magic and Timmy were in South Africa. Timmy was carrying what looked like a great big frying pan. Ooh! Are we having a fry up today? Is your tummy all you ever think about, said Timmy. No, Magic, it's not a frying pan, it's a pan used for looking for gold. Ooh! Ooh! Are we looking for gold? I went to a stream just outside Johannesburg and I started panning for gold. I've heard you can get 24 carat gold out of this stream, said Timmy. 24 carats? Mm. You can get them from the green grocers. No, not that kind of carrots, said Timmy. Carats with an A. It's the way of measuring the value of gold magic. Ooh. 24 carat gold is the very best Ooh. gold you can get. Now shush! Ooh. Get panning. Pan, pan, pan. 
hours and hours and hours of panning later. They found an old shoe, a bicycle wheel, a hat, and some old tin cans. None of them 24 carat, and none of them made of gold. I'm bored, said Magic. And I'm hungry. All I've got is this goldfish. Me too, said Timmy. Maybe we're not going to be rich gold barons, Magic. Well, not today anyway. I tell you what, let's go and get something to eat. Good idea, said Magic. I know a cafe that has something better than 24 karat gold. Oh, you do? What's that, said Timmy. It's 25 karat stew! Yummy! 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 yummy. And they did. Mm. You got a bit of a feast there, didn't you, Magic? What's he feel like on top of your head, Dom? Nice. He's nice, isn't he? That's Johan Magic this morning, Wide Awake, as you can see. And doesn't he look utterly brilliant? All set. Good. Now, good morning. Oh, Pinky. Hello? No. It's... Oh, what's happening? The ostrich is going in backwards. <laughs> Mr. Mary. Mr. Yes. Mary. Yes, Pinky. I can fly. You can? Just like an ostrich. Well, go on, then. What? What? Go on. <laughs> exactly, as you can see. He flies exactly like an ostrich. Of course, uh, he can't fly, but I'm telling you, he can run the pants off a canoe. Brilliant. Well done. Now then, good morning, Pecky. Oh, you've changed your name. It's Pecky Becky today from Samantha Yeans, who lives in Chingford. Well, Pecky Becky, say good morning, Dom. Say good morning, Jackie, to Pecky Becky. Morning, Pecky Becky. Morning, Pecky Becky. Right, let's have a look at your pictures this morning, Pecky Becky, and hold still. Here we go. Beautiful picture from Nathan Wilson, who lives in North Yorkshire. He says, I was born in South Africa, and he's drawn a brilliant Zulu warrior here, and we're going to see some more Zulu warriors tomorrow on Wackaday. Stick that one up for us, Jackie. OK, here. Hold your legs still, wacky jockey. It's a picture from Carolyn Gatenby, who lives in Stockton on Tees in Cleveland. And as you can see, oh, hang on, there you can. There's, right here, you can see it now. There's Timmy and Pinky and the ostrich right up here in the corner saying, Got any stones for me to eat? Because as you know, ostriches like to eat stones. If you rub their neck, see what happens, Dom. Rub his neck. See, go on. <coughs> oh, <laughs> careful! You did that! Here we go. Zoe Hislop lives uh, just moved here from South Africa three weeks ago. So welcome to Britain, uh, Zoe, and thank you for sending in. Your... Oh, stop it, Becky, Becky! Thank you for sending in your brilliant picture. This is her school badge of where she used to go to school. She sent us in some rands, which is South African money. A picture here uh, from Jeremy Dawes of Crew. No, Becky, Becky, hold still. And this is a brilliant picture of the two oceans shaking hands and saying hello. How do you do? With the Table Mountain and of course the Cape Town heroes down here. Here's the other right to wide awake when you're sending in your brilliant pictures you send them in to Wackaday TVM PO Box 200, 200 Ostriches London, London. NW1 HC Zulu 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 Coming up soon Wide Awake is going to show you how the rhino got his skin just so as you know and also not forgetting Wack Karaoke as well will be coming up this morning and we'll be going down underground with Johan in Johannesburg to find that solid gold on Wacka Gold, Wacka Gold, Wacka Gold! What do you have in your pocket? Monster in my pocket. They're here. They're everywhere. They're squishy. Monster in my pocket. New from Matchbox. Our monsters are trying to sleep. But this little monster's bike keeps waking them up. He's got monster spooky dookies on his wheels. They clatter like crazy. There's one free when you send in any single pack of Monster Munch. And in every multi-pack, there's a free Mega Monster Reflector. There are four to collect. Uh-oh. He can't disturb the monsters now, can he? <laughs> Monster Munch for a smarter, louder bike. Good luck, Mr. Wonderman. My back's gone, Tony. Now what do we do? This caveman's prehistoric. <laughs> no problem, pal. I'll help. Wonderman! He's gonna be Mr. Wonderman! Just caved in. Enjoy Kellogg's Frosties as part of your complete breakfast. They're great. They'll bring out the tiger in you. And you. Every day can be a Care Bear day. You can play in a caring way. Care Bear.
bears love to share their feelings with you. Tender heart bear, bedtime bear, and cheer bear. You can play in a caring way. Every day can be a care bear. Delicious Rivina is so concentrated, there's plenty to go around the whole family, however big it is. Rivina, concentrated to go further. It's wild, it's wacky, it's Wackaday Wild Awakers and the Great Wack Trek Packs. Who's our first one from, Jackie Johan? Andrew, Andrew and Catherine Hall, who live in Eastbourne. OK, now they have sent in all the stuff that they're going to need on the Great Wack Trek, including over here a compass. You see, they've made their very own compass. They've made... What's this? A rubber glove? What's that for? In, in case you need a hand. In case you need a hand. I like that. We've got uh, a knot in a hanky. Why is that? To remind you of something. OK, breadcrumbs here. What's that for? To find your to way find home. Your OK, this is some bird seed. In case, of course, magic, you feel a little bit peckish. Right, here's the map here, and as you can see, it's a beautiful old-fashioned type of map of a Wackawave Island. A beautiful Wackawave Island. Very cleverly done. I like that. And they've sent a first aid box, which has got... Nothing in, because everybody's utterly, utterly healthy. Good. And over here, what are these? Wet binoculars. What can you see? Shaky! 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 Give us a Wackawave, Shaky! Go on! Lekker prezies, eh? Wow! Shaky, how do you know that? You're it on your head! Give them a round of applause for Shaky Yohan! Love it, well done! OK, <laughs> next one over here. And this is from, who's this from? Sarah, Sarah Walker. Who lives in Lancashire. And what she's drawn here, she's sent us in a special island called Tinker Island, OK? And this is a beautifully thing called... Oh, hang on, have I got it upside down? Yes, it could be that way. I thought it could be that way. I'm not absolutely sure. But all the stuff that she needs on her trek, she needs a red pillar box, or perhaps it's a straw in a, in a, in a drink. There's a blue-type thingy. I'm not sure what it is. And this, you know what this is, don't you? This is a sandwich. It is, isn't it? Yeah. I thought it was. I quite agree. OK. And there's also in here a, a homemade compass as well. So well done making that one. All right, Wild Wakers, tomorrow we'll be announcing the winners of our brilliant competition. But right now... What are you doing, Magic? Mr. Mally? Yes, Mr. Mr. Mally? What, what? Will you tell me a story about a rhino? Well, I will if everybody well, just so. Just so what? Just so. Just, just so, so I know. Just so you know. OK, well, I will tell you a story all about a rhino. Is everybody ready? Yeah. Yes! Here we go. Once upon a time, my best beloved, there lived in Africa a Parsi man, from whose hat the rays of the sun were reflected in more than oriental splendour. And he liked to eat cake. One day he baked a great big cake, two feet across and three feet thick, and he filled it full of currants and raisins, and it smelled scrumptious. And out of the uninhabited interior there came the rhinoceros, with no manners whatsoever, and without so much as a buy or leave, he spiked that cake and trotted off and ate it all up. And the Parsi man says, Them that takes cakes that the Parsi man bakes makes dreadful mistakes. And shortly thereafter, there was a heat wave, and the rhinoceros got really rather hot under the collar. And his skin in those days, oh best beloved, fitted very tightly, with three buttons which did up down the middle, rather like a waterproof. And he decided to go and bathe, so he went down to the water, took his skin off, left it by the side, and went into the water to blow bubbles. And then the Parsi man smiled a smile which went twice the way around his face. And he filled his hat, from which the rays of the sun were reflected in more than oriental splendour, full of cake crumbs, stale old bits of cake crumbs, and some burnt currants. And he took the rhinoceros's skin, and he shook that skin, and he rubbed that skin full of cake crumbs. And then the rhinoceros put it on. Ooh. Ooh. Eek, he said, because he itched and scratched like crazy, more than cake crumbs in bed. And he rubbed himself on the ground, and he rubbed himself up against the tree, and the skin started to go into great folds all the way around his shoulders and all over, and the buttons went ping! and he couldn't get his skin off anymore and he couldn't get to those cake crumbs. And boy, it made him blazing mad. And from that day to this, the rhinoceros has had a filthy temper and a skin which doesn't fit. And the moral of the story, oh best beloved, he's never crossed a rhinoceros because he always gets his cake whether he eats it or not. 
And these wide awakers are the real live actual breadcrumbs that the Parsi man stuck inside the rhino skin. Do you want to try those? They're very, very stale. What do you think? Disgusting. They are a bit, aren't they? OK, but that's how the rhino got his skin wide awakers. And now it's time for this. Whack, 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 karaoke! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right, wide awakers, time to pop out your boppy boots, cos here we go with whack karaoke. It's MC Mallet here, wide awakers, with a brilliant new song by Sonia, which is called Be Young, Be Foolish, Be Wacky. We've got Wacky Jackie, we've got Big Bad Tom, and are you ready to go? Here we go. Be young, be foolish, but be wacky. was just fantastic. In fact, you could almost have had you be young, be foolish, be Jackie there, Jackie. It was just superb. Now then, uh, of course, it's Sonia's new song, that is. And uh, we're going to check out now on the Sonia-ometer how well you did. But, of course, Sonia comes from Liverpool. And in Liverpool, everybody says, all right. Wah. Exactly, all right, wah. So let's have the Sonia-ometer, Sonia telly now. All right, wah. 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 An extraordinary score. Go on, bow, 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 bow. Come on, bow, 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 bow. Keep bowing. Marvellous. Round of applause, everybody. Come on. Marvellous. Bow, 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 bow. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. All right, more shortly, Wide Awakers. But now, over here, and we're off down our gold mine. Come on, over here, and I'll show you where it is. Johannesburg here. OK, and there's the gold mine right there. Let's move your head out of the way, and there we go. Let's go find out what it's like to go down a real-life solid gold mine. And it's all mine now. Tales from Wack Africa. This is the high belt of the Transvaal in South Africa, Wide Awake. And a hundred years ago, this was a really miserable place to be. It was very poor and dry and absolutely useless and horrible. And one day in February 1886, a young man by the name of George Harrison was taking a walk without looking where he was going. Nipping ah! he said. Ow! And he saw. Whack, Eureka! It's gold! Yeah! Woo! I'm gonna be whack rich! Ah! And squillions of people from all over the world came crowding round here to seek their fame and fortune. And the government decided they'd get three people to come and survey a new town for the miners. And their names were Johan. And the first one said, Now see here! I think we should name this town after me. And the second one said, Don't be daft, you've got a stupid name. We should call it after me. And the third one said, I'll settle this. We'll name it after me. We'll call it Johannesburg. And guess what? They did. It'll be a real hectic ride, he said. And it was. And one of the first people to come here to seek his fortune was a little miner by the name of Johann Mallet. There he is. Hello, my name's Johan Mallet, and I've just got off the boat from Durban, 
and I'm off to seek my fame and fortune in the gold fields of the Witwaters Rand. I've got all my worldly possessions in my hat. And now where's the train to the Gold Reef City? This train's not going anywhere. But this one is. Hello! I said this was Gold Reef City. Well, none of it's mine. 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 We're 220 metres down at the very bottom of the mine. This is where the gold ore is. Ooh. Now. To get at the gold, you have to bask like crazy. And this isn't really very good. What we need is this. <laughs> if you think it's hard work with the mallet, you can always try this. Now that's not gold, and that's not gold. But this is gold. This is the Kimberley Reef, which stretches for over a hundred kilometers, and it's full of gold ore. Gold ore, rock, or jelly, or rice pudding. Now when you've got all your rock, you put it into your cocoa pan, and then you crush all these rocks, and you melt down what's left. And that gives you enough gold to cover your little fingernail. And that's not a nail of a lot. to think from a piece of stone like this that George Harrison found out in the Whitwaters Rand, you get a solid gold lump like this worth a hundred thousand pounds. And now I really have got a hat that's worth a fortune. I ah, love it. Nobody said the magic words yet. You know, any ideas what it might be? Diamond? Not diamond, no, but gold? it's a, no, it's not gold. Ruby? It's a it's a sort of it's a, gold Wine? is a sort of Mr. Mine, Mr. Mine. Mr. Mine. Stone, I must be worth an awful lot. Not pebble. No, no. <laughs> because I'm as good as gold. You are as good as That's gold, Benjamin. No, it's not. It's not. It's a sort of it's a sort of a m m m m m m m m m m no rock, no. Give him a clue. Shaky, oh. what is it? Copper, oh, silver, iron, steel. No, yes. Metal! Metal, yes, it's a metal! Finally, you got it. Well done, brilliant, good. Time for this. Here we go. <laughs> right, OK, let's go to the phones and find out who's that. Who's at the other end of the phones? Hello? Yeah? Uh, who are you? Yeah. Michael. Griffin. Hello, Michael. Right, OK. Who do you want your little ostrich to be, Michael? My brother Mark. That's your brother Mark, is it? You have to get all five questions right to get your brother Mark into the scudge. Could you just stir it for me, please, Dominic? Thank you, because Jackie doesn't like it. She doesn't like to stir that. Stick your hand in there, give that to Shaky. Lovely, OK. Here goes your first question. Here's your first question. Are you ready? Yeah. What were the, first, what were the three men called who founded Johannesburg? 
Easy. Easy. Give me a clue. Give me a clue. Johan. Give me a clue. Yeah. Oh, dear. Well, you're going up backwards in that case, Michael. It looks like it's going to be you who goes in. What's next, Jackie? How did Johan Malik get from Durban to Johannesburg? By boat. By boat? Right. Well, not quite. No, he landed by train. boat. He went on the... Boop, boop, ch -ch 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 train. Train. Yeah. Yes, he did. OK, that's better. What did Johan Mallet put under his hat? A gold bar. Gold yes. bar, yes. Up to the next one. What did the f passing, passing man. man rub into the rhino skin? Cake crumbs. Cake please. crumbs, yes. Well done, Michael. Next. How many buttons did the rhino skin fasten up with? Three. Three. Spot on. Here we go. After three, count to three. Go on, Michael. One, two, three. Oh, a good shot. Your brother's right in, head first in, and well stirred. I like that. Right, right away, because we've got the wax snaps for you now with a brilliant new record by somebody called MC Mallet. Here we go. All right. called, Jackie? The bump. It's called the bump, and that's what you do. Keep going. Oh, you knocked him over. Crunch. <laughs> <laughs> MC Mallet is the bump, and it's out on Monday, Wide Awakers. And where's it going to get to? No well, one. Or higher. Watch out, Wide Awakers. Tomorrow, Wackaday Fat for the very last Wackaday of the summer holidays, but it'll be a very exciting Zulu day, so make sure you're watching, because it's utterly on five days a week. It's brilliant. It's Wackaday!